Hello everybody, Matt Shields here with 360 Heroes and I wanted to go through a quick unboxing and setup of our 360 H6 camera holder. Now our finished product that we want to end up with is this guy here. It's essentially our holder with all of the uh, sticky pads holding the camera housings in the correct array so that we're able to get the best possible stitch when we're done. To start with, we're just going to take these items out of the box, give you a good idea of what actually is in here when you receive the box. We've got six of our flat adhesive mounts with quick release buckles. We have our camera mount, which essentially is what you're going to mount your 3 8 rigging to. We've got our physical holder that's going to hold all of these in the correct array. And then we also have our clicker for when we start shooting, and we have our screws and nuts that we're going to use today to put all of these onto the holder in the correct way. First things first, we need to familiarize ourselves with the actual holder. So this little guy has some numbers on it right here, um, and it goes one through six, and it's important to know what orientation that is in terms of, of where it is on here, because when these guys sit on this holder, it's very important that the legs or the clips themselves point in the same direction as that number. So that when they're all set on here in the correct way, they're going to point in the right direction and not be in each other's way when you're uh, assembling all the cameras. I'm just going to throw all that together really quick so we can get the actual visual on it. Like so. So the reason this has a perfect geometric appearance to it is because we don't have any one of these turned the wrong way so that it's sitting in the wrong position. Our next step is to actually fasten the sticky pad to the back of your camera housings. In order to do that, I like to take these guys apart, take your housing. Now you'll notice that you have a screw on here already. And this screw, because of the style of it, it's going to get in the way when you try and assemble all of these different parts together. It's best to use the screws that we provided you with that just have the simple pan head um, and are going to fit and not, be, uh, not obstruct the way that the, all the cameras slide in together. Now when sticking the pad to the back of your case, I like to leave this pad on so the adhes adhesive is not exposed yet. Pop open your case, align it right where you want it, take your marker, just put a little dot at each spot where you know you're going to want to line that up after. Once we know where that needs to be aligned, we'll remove our adhesive backing, set this back down on your table and just carefully line that up with your camera housing. Give it a good push. You'll see those bubbles disappear. And you want to get as many of those bubbles or any kind of a uh, air pocket underneath that pad removed as much as possible. So that is in place. The same thing applies to the cases for the Hero 2 with or without battery, Hero 3, and the Hero 4. So with that fastened to the back of our case, we're now ready to line up our clip onto the actual camera holder. We just look for number one. Let's go ahead and insert our screw and take our handy dandy screwdriver and get this in place. Now you want it seated against the blue uh, as snug as possible and then the screw itself you want to tighten very snugly because remember these cameras are all being held in a perfect configuration so that we'll have a nice smooth stitch when it's done. In order to ensure that one of the steps we can do is just to make sure that this clip and each one of them uh, consecutively is as tight as we need it to be. 
the clips are pointing toward the number and the button on your case is going to follow that same position. The clips point at the button. And when you're done, it's pretty easy to see that your actual lens of your camera is as close to the nodal center as possible. And that's really why this configuration is so specific. So with all of our adhesive backings placed on the cases and our clips attached to the holder itself, we're now ready to assemble the uh, actual head with the casings on it. With a total of six cameras, that means we have six clips and therefore six cases to fasten in the correct array around the holder itself. So what's going to make your life a little bit easier is to remember 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, 6. So essentially that means that we're assembling all of these clips and then placing the cases on in that order to ensure that they all clear one another. So that's as simple as 1, 3, 5, and then 2, 4, 6. Um, so let's just go ahead and fasten our actual cases on in that order. Starting with number one, we're going to want to make sure that the feet or this clip end that's attached to the holder is aligned with the button on our case. And there again, we just give it that visual that our actual lens of the camera is coming in to our nodal center on the holder. So one's in place, let's move on to camera three. There again, feet, button, lens of camera, nodal center. Going to five. Well, let's do the rest of these quickly. Now we're gonna start with two, four, six, right? So this should slide right on. The button aligned with the clip. Four, button aligned, nodal center, and six. Another way to really um, give a good visual uh, uh, check of whether or not the cameras are aligned correctly is to see them as opposite across from one another. So I'm just going to very quickly take off our camera four. I'm going to show how on camera two and camera three, they're opposite one another. So from here to here, these two cameras are pointing opposite directions. And we're also giving it that visual check one more time that across this nodal center, all the lenses are pointing toward the middle. If you were to go through the lens, you would hit the middle of the holder itself. And that's it for the assembly. We want to absolutely be sure that all of these screws are tight. It doesn't hurt to go around that again just to make 100% sure. One of the main reasons we want to ensure that they're all tight enough is that when this is shaking on the back of a car or on the end of a tripod, uh, this guy is uh, going to hold together perfectly. And it's also going to maintain your alignment for the cameras so that we don't have any shaky footage in one piece of the footage. It's not going to uh, line up or be balanced out with the rest of the stitch. With this mount in its current position, with all the cases on, it's easy to see that it's in three seams. It's in one, two, and three seams between these two cameras these two cameras and these two cameras okay and what that means is that this camera mount is going to be wiped out when we stitch this footage together now there is another option for the placement of the mount and that is on this other side here or rather the alternative side you see here and you'll notice the distinction immediately when you put it between two cameras on the actual seam between just two cameras instead of three cameras. So here we're between just two cameras and it's in the seam between just those two. A little more difficult to wipe out in the stitch, but uh, essentially this, this position can 
change what you're pointing the camera at when you're shooting. So each one of these lenses being pointed at one particular subject, this changes the positioning of the camera so that you can point it at the subject based on what you're shooting. So that's the quick demo on unboxing and assembly of the 360 Heroes H6 all-weather VR camera gear. Um, we encourage you to reach out to us with any questions um, about assembly or shooting in general at 360heroes.com and we really look forward to seeing what you produce with this. Until next time, this is Matt Shields for 360 Heroes, signing off.